Hello, welcome back. In the tutorial today, I will show you how to crochet this blanket with this very, very soft burnet yarn. It's a very easy blanket. I will go forward very slowly and explain everything I'm doing from the chain to the finish. So you can follow, even if you're brand new to crochet, I will go forward very slowly. So let's begin. For the yarn, I've used this very soft burnet yarn. I will leave a link in the description where you can buy it and I will write in the description how much you will need. This yarn means a hook size 6 mm, but I've used a 9 mm crochet hook. It's a pretty firm pattern and this works perfectly. Then I've used a tapestry needle and some scissors. So we begin this with a slip knot. Make a loop with your yarn and take the long end of the yarn behind the loop. Grab it from the middle with your hook and pull. Now we make a chain. So yarn over your needle and pull through the loop. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through. This is the foundation of our work and this is the ones we will be working in from the next row. How many chains you do decide the width of your blanket. I will do 125 chains. So you just go ahead, yarn over, pull through until you have 125 chains. When we're done with our chain, we will begin working in these chains on the row. So we will be working in single crochet. So we skip the first chain right after the hook and go for the second chain. So insert your hook in the second chain from the hook and begin your single crochet. So yarn over, pull through one loop and yarn over, pull through two. That's your first single crochet. Go look for the next chain right here. Insert your hook into the chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. The next chain down here. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. The next chain is right here. So you insert your hook in this next one, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two. So just do one single crochet in every chain all the way across. Your next chain is right here. You insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. So one single crochet in every chain. And when you make it to the end, I will show you how to turn your work. When we make it all the way across, it might seem like we have two stitches left to go. But this is our slip knot from the beginning and you will never be working into that. So this is your final stitch. So insert your hook in the final stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And you're done with your row. If you chained up 125 like I did, you should have 124 stitches because we skipped the first stitch. So that was row number one. Now we chain one and turn. So yarn over, pull through and turn the work. And we will now be working the other way. Look for the little V's on top. This is the stitches we will be working in now. Skip the first one again and go for the second stitch. 
insert your hook in the second stitch, yarn over, pull through the stitch, yarn over, pull for a two. So again, just single crochet. The next stitch, this one, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through the stitch, yarn over, pull for two. So just work the entire blanket in single crochet. Just like this. We are working with a pretty big needle compared to the size of the yarn. And this makes a very nice, a very nice texture for this blanket. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, all the way across. When you make it to the end, you chain one, turn the work, and continue the same way. Just one single crochet in every stitch all the way across, turn with a chain, and work your way up the blanket. And then you continue until your desired length. My blanket measures 180 centimeters. Of course, you can do it longer or shorter, whatever fits you need. Then you weave in your ends with your tapestry needle and cut all your ends off and you're done. You have a blanket. I hope you liked the tutorial. If you did, please press thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you again soon. Bye. Thank you.